Hey everybody, do really here. Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Rain de Fleur along Orpheus's path. And we just did another ceremony to transfer Grace to Pavone to save Leon's life and the life of Pavonians everywhere. We took the Grace from Orpheus, so since he's the egg of God and has Grace to spare, but apparently something seems to be going wrong. Violet's a little bit weak. Let's see what's going on. You can just sit back, relax, and let me read you a story. I lose my balance and my body leans. Cherry blossom petals flutter at the corner of my vision. I cannot support myself. Uh, Violet! Uh, uh. No, don't come out. No, I am... Pull yourself together. Don't lose your consciousness. Orpheus's voice is becoming farther and farther. Listen to me, Violet! No flickering! Goddess is awfully pretty, though. Oh. You sound a little too excited, Hubert. Ugh. It's just like before. The Goddess's invasion. Lady Milene. Hubert's the only person happy about this. Shut up, Hubert. Don't move from there. If you move, you know what'll happen. <laughs> Such a threat has no meaning now. The goddess has come back to life. The goddess Milene. I don't want you to revive again. Please, give us back our reign. <sighs> you are still far from sprouting, as your power is weak. The way you are now... It is not enough. You will not be able to awaken. Uh. The power of the gods. Grace doesn't exist by itself. There always has to be a source for the god to draw it from. Just like my source is that cherry tree. I thought she stored her grace in that tree. Not that she got her grace from it. I don't know. Do... Do I have one too? You have the ability to control grace already. How can I use the power? Please, tell me, Milene. Ask your own heart, then you will. <sighs> hey, what are you doing, Orpheus? Don't tell me you've been deceived by the word of the goddess. This isn't the time to be listening to the goddess's story. We must take our reign back first. This vessel seems to be much loved. Hubert. I'm here, Lady Milene. Violet has a much stronger consciousness than I expected. That means... She probably has very strong feelings to hold her here. <sighs> I feel a bit jealous. Damn it, she's going back to sleep again. Well, that was thrilling, but she seems to have pulled through this time, too. <laughs> Although she didn't completely revive this time. By my estimation, next time will be the end for Violet. Even without the ceremonies, it's just a matter of time now. Remember that the mere feelings of a person are meaningless in the face of the goddess. You! Shut up! I'm not there yet. The power of a god. I also have a source. He's just in his own world here. If I have the power, can I... can I protect her? Maybe... Chapter 3, Orpheus 3, The Decision to Protect Where is the source of my power? Even though I ask myself, I can't think of anything. The source for the goddess of Milene is that cherry tree, but I... I have no such thing. Don't ever sing again. Never. Swear that on your harp, Orpheus. Your singing is much too powerful. Huh? What was that? A memory? That was strange. 
I've never heard my master say such a thing. You just didn't remember it before. I was under the impression that I wasn't trained well enough to sing, so until my master approved, I shouldn't sing. But my master's gone now, so I'll never be able to sing. Maybe you could find a new master. Uh. Uh, no. Oh, how could I forget about that? I wasn't even allowed to practice singing. Singing itself was forbidden by my master. Why? Why did I remember that now? My memories and those words. I don't know. Is something still missing? What is it? A few days after that last ceremony, Leon was able to avoid falling into serious condition as he was taken care of at the last minute. Still, everyone knew that could only be a temporary measure and nothing more. Probably another country will soon be in drought again. The more ceremonies we hold to prevent it, the more my body will be invaded by the goddess. In fact, I had firmly resolved myself before the last ceremony but my consciousness had still been taken in the end anyway. I wonder if I'll be okay next time. Even if I make it next time, what about after that? Am I really still myself? Huh. <sighs> I check my reflection in the hand mirror and feel relieved, but my worry soon surfaces and I unconsciously grab the mirror again. I've been repeating that all morning. I'm scared. I feel like I will lose myself if I lose focus even for a moment. You are my vessel. Give me your body now. Ugh. Princess, what was that noise? The mirror's broken. Princess, are you hurt anywhere? I'm fine. I'm sorry. I was just spacing out. I'm going to clean this up now. Princess, don't touch it! Just leave that to Akane and Rudy! Akane, I'm gonna clean this up, so take care of Princess. Right! As Akane looks up at me, I surely still see myself in her eyes. <sighs> Princess, your face looks so pale! I'm okay. I was just thinking about something. Princess, it isn't good for you to stay inside the mansion all the time. Yes, you should go outside and get some fresh air. Oh, you should have Orpheus play the harp for you. Ah, uh, but Orpheus may be out somewhere. I see. Looks like Orpheus has been going out often these days. Where have you been sneaking off to? Is that because of the conversation he had with Hubert, or perhaps with the goddess? We haven't been seeing each other as much as we used to after that last ceremony. <sighs> Princess, don't give us that sad look. Huh, where is Orpheus most likely to be? We used to see him in the park before, but I don't think he'd be in the mood for a walk right now. Asagi told me that Orpheus usually plays the, plays the harp in the cage inside the greenhouse when he's worried about something. That's a special place for Orpheus, so she usually leaves him alone there. And then I shouldn't bother him. Don't say that. Princess is also special to Orpheus, so you're allowed. S special Princess, I also heard something interesting from Gizlon. He often sees Orpheus looking up at the Tree of Life, seemingly deep in thought. I think those are some pretty good clues and hints there, Violet. That caught his attention as a knight. I see. Gizlon said so. Thank you for the important information, you two. I'll keep that in mind. They escort me, and I step outside for the first time in quite a while. Orpheus would probably be in... Uh, the red one, obviously, because... Red's love, right? Orpheus's Frustration, Asagi Princess! Asagi, why are you here? Well, I thought Orpheus would be here, so I came to see, but... Since both of us were wrong, 
I'm so sorry that he's not here for Princess when you're in need of him. He's still lacking in awareness as a knight. I'll warn him about that later. So, it's okay, Asagi. Orpheus must have a lot to think about. <sighs> What's wrong? Maybe it's because Orpheus used to have no confidence in himself. Whenever he was worried or confused, he always came to me for advice. Oh no! I skipped the... Ah, uh, darn it. Alright, this line's supposed to be in the next video, sorry. <laughs> I pushed the button too soon. But that's it for today's episode. Asagi still being the motherly hen. Hopefully we'll find Orpheus in the next video. So I hope to see you there or in some of my other ones. And I'd be so grateful for any likes, comments, subscriptions, or shares with your friends to show some support. Thank you so much for joining me, and I wish you all health, happiness, and safety. They're really signing out. Bye-bye, everybody.